All right, folks, just wanted to do a quick update on where we are with uh, some of the homebrew projects that are going on at the house. Uh, last time I did one of these, I believe that this had just gone into this one-gallon fermentation bottle. And uh, what that is is it's a gallon of uh, Welch's Concord grape juice with uh, two cups of sugar cane sugar and a little bit of yeast nutrient and then one pack of this Red Star Champagne yeast. And uh, this is almost at two weeks. It's finished fermenting and it's starting to clarify. All the sediments are, are sinking to the bottom. And um, I guess it'll be about two weeks on Friday, I believe, is when that's going to be at two weeks. So I'm probably going to bottle that uh, either tonight or tomorrow. And I've been putting it in these, the stuff that I'm making in these, uh, these bottles here. They're by Mr. Beer and they're 740 milliliters not 750 in the last video I showed some uh, some cranberry mamba jamba and uh, that's what this is right here and uh, I drank one of these the other day and it actually was very uh, it was very good I liked it quite a bit it had some fizz to it it was uh, sparkling it was more like a sparkling wine than it would be like an apple cider or, or a hard cider or beer or something like that um, it didn't have a lot of sparkle to it, just a little bit. It was tart and had a little bit of sweetness to it, but uh, it was very drinkable. It was very tasty. Uh, I think I'm going to concentrate on um, trying to do some kind of sparkling cranberry cider uh, in the future. I'm going to try to do a couple different batches and see what I can do there. Um, this one went in here last uh, Saturday. and uh, So we're coming up on a week, and what that is is just a gallon of apple juice. I actually went in there on the 4th, so that might have been Friday. It's just uh, a gallon of apple juice, two cups of um, uh, corn sugar, which is a little bit different than sugar cane sugar, and uh, that got off to really fast fermentation. I mean, it was bubbling like crazy for a couple of days. It seems to have settled down now. Um, this was very, very cloudy, and uh, you can see now it's starting to clarify. So I'm going to let this sit for about another week. Then I'm going to go ahead and bottle that, and uh, that got the yeast nutrient, and that's with the Red Star yeast as well. So we'll see how that's going. Uh, downstairs, I didn't feel like lugging it up here or taking the camera down. We actually did uh, five gallons of Williams Warren American Lager beer. And uh, we'll see how that turns out. Uh, maybe I'll tape the bottling of that, I don't know. But uh, I don't think I'm going to do too much beer. Um, it, was, it was easy, it was fun to do. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. But I really like doing these uh, different fruit juices is kind of why I started uh, doing homebrew stuff again. It's just really trying to make some kind of sparkling fruit wine or something like that. So anyhow, that's it guys. Just want to do a quick update. Thank you very much.